On the 23rd of July, 2008, 66-year-old Han Thi Huang was found in her bedroom unconscious. Police then brought in her daughter, the woman in the interrogation, 40-year-old Kim Fong Thi Dong, for questioning. Now I do have some of the crime scene photos, so they will be displayed throughout. The interrogation will start where Kim explains how she found her mother's body. The audio isn't the best, so I added subtitles for you. I hope they help. Like I said, um, I, my, my daughter and I asked my mom for the keys uh -huh. to go to a store. Right. And then she asked us, like, oh yeah, by the way, um, my, 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 my mom is some meat and some stuff in the grocery store. Uh -huh. So I asked her, so you want to go to Bloom's or Giant? She said, Giant. You asked your mom what grocery store you yeah. went to. And you went to the Giant by where? Yeah, by, uh, by the... Best Buy right here. Right, Best Buy. We were the just buy. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, we were just buy a few minutes ago. Yeah, we were there. So, my mom asked, you have any money? I'm like, just a couple bucks. She said, okay, if your mommy give you the credit card, go, you know, charge and mm -hmm. buy a grocery and whatever you want, buy some to them. Okay. Go home. Okay. I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay. I'm like, um... Then later on, can we go out later on? I asked my mom that. She said, yeah, sure, be home, like, no more later than 12 or 1 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, no problem. So my daughter and I, you know, I, I, I let her practice driving because she needs to practice to get right. a license. So she drove to the store. I just sit there, we drove to the store, we went to the store, you know, like I said, like an hour, an hour or something, we buy the food that my mom wanted. And then we buy what we want and stuff. Did you just buy the meal or did you buy something else? Yeah, my mom wanted vegetables and oh, stuff okay. like lettuce or cucumbers right, or right. You know, okay. whatever with the meat. Yeah, I think. Yeah. So we bought two packs of meat and we put one inside the refrigerator and one outside the cabinet right there. Mm -hmm. And the vegetables that we put in the refrigerators. And and then I guess my mom was upstairs when we came home. She was in her room, the light was on. And then she heard us open the door, I think. And then she said, is that you? I said, yeah, we're home. Uh, we're gonna go see a movie, okay, mom? I said, okay. So we left, you know, all the stuff there. Wait, so you came, you came home first? Yeah, like and... an hour later, we went shopping. Okay, okay. For groceries. Uh -huh. Yeah, we came home to, you know, put the stuff in for my mom. You know, to let you know, her know that, you know, we bought the stuff for her. So she said, okay, you know. I'm like, okay, mom, uh, can we go, you know, go shopping some more or, you know, go see a movie or, you know, whatever? Right. She said, yeah, go ahead. Say, you want us to give you the keys? She goes, no, no, go ahead, you know. You can. So, okay, so we did. So we went to, the, I guess my daughter would not want to watch a movie that night, so she, we went to the Best Buy mm -hmm. store before we closed, you know, mm -hmm. to catch before they closed. So we got there for a couple minutes. So... She was practice driving, just driving up and down the street, you know, because there's no car there, it's, you know, late at night. I don't know what time it is, but, you know. But you were at Best Buy when it closed? Yeah. So we just drive around the block. Did you go in the Best Buy? Yeah. Okay. We went in, and then we just look around to say, okay, time to close. So we all went out. Mm -hmm. Me and my daughter went out to the car. And then, you know, we just drive around, practice driving around the parking lot, and then we went outside the street lights and stuff, by the house and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then when we finished that, we drove up to the parking lot. And then my daughter parked and I looked and I saw somebody walk out of you know our walkway. Mm -hmm. You know, our house your, walkway. Your walkway. Yeah, oh. our walkway. My gate or yeah my gate. So I saw someone walk out my gate open. I'm like, hey, I, I don't know if it was a he or a girl or, you know, they or whatever. It was dark. Mm -hmm. I go, hey. So they like, they looked at me, they looked, and they walk all the way to the corner. And I think they waited for us to get out of the car or something like that, right? So we got out of the car. And then we went, you know, in my driveway, you know, the gate 
mm -hmm. to, to the house. So we did. So I went upstairs to let my mom know that we're home. So me and my dog went upstairs, and that's when we found her. So Kim claims she was out with her daughter. They come back, see an intruder, and find their mother dead. Now when the police were looking for Kim and her daughter Julie, when the body was reported, they eventually found them in New Mexico. I'm going to show you now Kim's explanation on how she ended up in New Mexico. You don't need any analysis for this. It's just the worst lie. Despite a morbid subject, this scene you're about to see is near comical. So we, we try to drive out, drive to go to my brother's house, you know, like I say, in, in the car. So you the left, car. right? You left right there and you left, and, and then you left. Mm -hmm. To go to my okay. brother, yeah. So from the time you saw it, and by the t from the time you left, you, you went right to the car and you left. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. To, you know, to go to my brother uh -huh. again and to, you know, let him know that somebody, you know, did this to her mother. Uh -huh. You know, I, I can't explain it. You know, I'm trying to do this myself. You know, you so he don't like you. You're very upset. You know? Right. And think bad about me before you did this. You know? So, like I said, you know, so my daughter said, no, turn over here. No, turn over there. And you know, all this stuff, you know, but that's when we end up in my school. <laughs> So long term from hips out, and then you wind up in, in Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I'm still shaking. I was still. When you pulled up and you saw that person come out of the walkway, did you see him come out of the front door or from the back of the no, house? No, the back of the gate, my gate, uh -huh. the house. I right. had the door there too. And where, where did you guys pull into? The front door, right in front of our face. Right but there. but you saw him pull out or come out the side. Yeah. So he was relatively close to you. Yeah. Yeah. What what did this person look like? I don't know. It was dark. I don't know. He's white, black, or because he's wearing a hat or something, mm -hmm. or something. And I think he's I'm not sure. A sweatshirt, mm -hmm. a sweater. Mm -hmm. You know. So that's all I remember. Right. What did that face look like? I mean, if you saw that face, was it a guy face, a girl face, mustache, beard? No, he's very shiny. Shiny. He's like very clear and pretty. Uh huh. You know, like nothing. White? If you saw his face, was there any you could. I don't think he's white. Black? Not that either. Like Asian? Something like that. Like, like Asian? He's shiny, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're pretty sure it was a guy? I don't know if it's a guy or a girl, you know, like I said, you know like a hat or something, but I saw the face. Mm -hmm. So I can't tell if it's a guy or a girl, mm -hmm. uh, the, mm -hmm. the way wear the clothes. So yeah, I popped the car like this. You can stand up if you yeah. want to, too. To... Okay. Okay, this is like, I pretend you're in my front door. Okay. And this is my side door, the gate door. Mm -hmm. So I popped like this. He came out. So he he walked person. right up to the car. This person walked yeah. right up to the car. Yeah. Did he say anything? No, he just looked. Did you ask him, hey, why are you... I, I, I go, hey, and he looked at me like his eyes, or mm -hmm. I don't know, like I said, he, she, whatever. Mm -hmm. The eyes, like, got scared. Mm -hmm. Like, run away. You, you, you know how the deer see the big red light? Right, right, right. That's how. Now, were you in the driver's seat or you in the passenger seat? Um... I was in the passenger okay. the doctor. So, so he was closer to your side of the car than Julie's side yeah. of the car. Okay. okay. Do you think Julie saw him too? No, she was like parking like this, you know, trying to park like this. And then she looked down to, you know, do the reverse thing like this. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, you know, like sitting, you know, like this. And I looked at her. I said, okay, you know, go straight. And then I turned around like this. And I saw that person come up like this. And then, so, so then you guys, you go, you go in the house. How long were you in the house for? Um, I don't really know. I think my daughter know better than me. Like I said, I don't have very good numbers. A long time or a short time? If you Did you go in the front door or the side or the back door? The front door. Okay. And was it locked or unlocked? It was kind of. Did you need to use your key to open it? 
Yeah. Okay, so it was locked. Yeah. Okay. Um. It's clear to me she's making this up as she goes along. When they asked her about the front door, with pre-planning, if you were going to try and lie, one could say, yeah, it was open, which suggests to the police that it could have been an intruder. But because this is all on the spot, she pauses, waits, and then just answers whatever comes to her mind. The police will now ask her what she did when she saw her mum. And when you went inside the house, like I said, was it, you don't have to say an hour or two hours, but was it a long time or a short time? Yeah, I could say long. It was a long time? What did you guys do in the house for a long time? At uh, first, we went in the house, uh -huh. and then we went upstairs to my mom right away. Okay. When we went upstairs, we just dropped because we saw her. Right. Sure. <laughs> Blood and stuff. What, what is she, I mean, like, do you think, like, she was still alive? I mean, do you? Like, I, I I touch her. I'm like, mom, mom. She didn't do nothing. And my daughter ran to her to his crown. So she held her. And I, I was just still in shock. I just stand there and like, shaky. Was she bleeding? Did it look like maybe someone shot her or like? I didn't see anything. I didn't see no bullets, no nothing. I didn't. I didn't see nothing. Did you was it that you saw blood? Yeah, I, we just saw blood. That's it. My head starts pounding. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm gonna fall on my face. Right, right. The whole house was like moving, even though it's not mm -hmm. right. Right. So, um, so I try to find the cell phone to call my brother. Mm -hmm. Call my mother. You know, it's like running like a mad woman. So we ran out of there. And we just go. So you ran right out of the house and got right into the car and you left. Mm -hmm. Run out the front door or the, the back, back door? door? Okay. So you went up to your grandma's room or your mom's room. You saw what happened and you went to go tell Pip and you went out the front door then. Yeah. And of course we packed all the stuff. Oh, I thought you said you just ran out the door. Yeah, and we left. ran out the door. Uh huh. Yeah. But. But you pack stuff? Yeah. Huh. It's already in the car. Oh, you had already packed? Yeah, it's already packed. It's when already did you pack it? Um, that afternoon, I talked to my mom. I'm like, uh, Mom, I'm going to pack all the stuff and put it in the car. Is that okay? She said, yeah. Why would you want to pack stuff and put it in the car? Because we want to go somewhere. You know, like maybe to my sister's house or uh -huh. something, or to his, his yeah, house. to his house, mm -hmm. or maybe to her brother Sean's mm -hmm. in Springfield. Your son, yeah, my yeah. son. And your mom was good with that. Yeah. So, so just you already had the car packed. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. It seems when she said she packed her clothes, this kind of gave the police something to think about. If you see a body in the house, particularly your mother's body, the last thing you're gonna do is run away. Call nine one one. Call your family, stay with the body, I don't know. But this could be seen as a sign of guilt. But she claims, no, she had already packed the clothes and played it off as if she was going to her son or brother's house or whatever. Either way, I've seen better liars in Parliament. Now the police are going to question her story by confirming she was nowhere to be seen on the CCTV at the stores she mentioned she was in whilst her mother's life was taken. You know, we believe, we believe in you. And we're just trying to make it all, you know, just trying to understand everything. Right, right. You know, and there are some things, Kim, that just don't make sense. Yeah, don't make sense. And yeah. that's why, you know, like, like the Best Buy thing, yeah. okay? Like that night when we were out there, we checked all of the we, we, we're stores. We're not buying anything. We didn't buy anything. We just oh, I know, I know, because we didn't know what we were dealing with. And we <laughs> checked all the stores. Yeah. Right, and they have all great video in Giant and in yeah. Best Buy, yeah. and you're not there. And we thought somebody there. might have like abducted you yeah. or something. So we were looking for right. you because yeah, we thought we were, somebody may have like taken right. you. Taken you. Maybe you were hurt too. Right. right. So, so that's why we looked at all. I mean, we got like our like all the, all the people to look at all the videos. All the videos from like everywhere. Yeah. And you guys weren't on there. 
I remember. You were there. Before it closed, it was like, like late. No, the video, I think we got the video from like, what, 8.30 to close? 8 yeah. to close? Yeah. It was late. Yeah, we think we're in at 8. We put in like, before it closed. No, right. We got it from, from 8.30 8 oh, yeah, to, 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 to close. Closing oh. time, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. We went in there. We went in and we went out. They have a, uh, like a, like a picture recognition so they can like do it by computer. And I mean, there weren't even like, Nothing there. Yeah, because yeah. we didn't. Because I said we were. Oh my God! Did somebody abducted? Is somebody going to hurt them? Right. I mean, we were. We were nonstop. Yeah, and like the, I mean, pretty much like not only our police department, but like other police departments yeah. were helping. So, I mean, everybody was really worried about you. Oh, so. sorry. I didn't you guys definitely weren't there because the video shows that, right? Because like I said, when. We thought, hey, you guys got abducted, something happened. We, we, check we do all that anytime this, somebody's yeah. missing, like we go to all the stores yeah. and have video. We call them and we say, like, we need your video. Right. And they, they like, right. they Especially know. in that area because that's, you know, it's kind new. of a close area. Like it's new and it's a close area to your house. So, I mean. Well, I know we, we went to the store. Mm -hmm. That's, I know for a fact. You went to which store? Giant. I know that for a fact because okay. my mom told me to buy the stuff. Okay. And I know my daughter come with me. Okay. Because I because she was right there. Uh huh. What happened that we know? Okay. Now Kim, what you've been telling us, okay, yes. is not true. Now listen to me. Yes. All right. That is your daughter. Yes. That is your mom. Yes. Some bad things. Yes. Which you did not mean for those things to happen. But I know I didn't do them. My daughter didn't do them. Whatever she said, like, like I will tell you, she's scared that she saw her grandmother, like her mom, lying there bleeding. Mm -hmm. And she just want to say it. Say what? Whatever she said to you. No, do, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. The things that yes, she told she, us, yes, we know are true. Yes. Because she say she 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 want you to take blame on her. She's mm -hmm. trying to take blame. Oh no no no! Because she blamed you too. Oh. No, she no, didn't. She didn't blame herself. She, she, she didn't blame herself. No no no. Oh, she, she blamed me too. Oh, oh well, that's good. Yes. Yeah. I told her to You're say right. blame on me. No, but what she's doing is she's, she's telling, telling the, the truth. truth. And she's helping herself. Right. You're and not she's telling 18 years the truth. old, and because she's telling the truth, it's going to help her. Okay. She's going to have a future. Okay. That's Do you understand that? Yeah. That's what okay. Want. Yes. And for you to have a future with your family, with yes. Julie, yes. You need to tell us things that we can verify. Okay. And like we said before, you know, we we've looked at videos. Okay. We have crime scene people that have looked at the house with just every little minute details, possible way, details. okay, at hairs, at fingerprints, at DNA, at things that we can't even see with our eyes, but they have special tools, right. okay? okay? Your your mom had an autopsy done on her, okay? okay. Do you know what that is? And, and no. they look at, well, they look at her body, okay. and so they can tell exactly how she died, okay? okay? Um, they can tell exactly what time it happened, mm -hmm. okay? We have computer people that look at the computer, mm -hmm. okay? And based on all of those things, mm -hmm. okay, what Julie told us was the truth. And because of that, mm -hmm. okay, she's going to have a future, mm -hmm. okay? And, and you know what? I can see that you raised her well because when she speaks with the officer, she tells the truth, mm -hmm. okay? And that she, she doesn't like what happened and she doesn't like what she did, but she's remorseful. Okay, and she's very sorry. Okay, I'm and that's sorry too, and that's a good thing. I know you're sorry. Too. And that's I know you're thing. sorry, Kim. Okay, but the only way to make this right, and I mean, I know you told me that you're Catholic, you're a Christian woman. The only way to make this right is to be honest about it. Okay, because something is serious in your heart and your mind. It has nothing to do with us. It has to do with God. Okay, right. And with you know, and and to be honest and to take responsibility for your actions. Yes. Okay. And that's what your daughter did. So I can see that you were a very good mother and that you raised her well. Okay. And now that's what you, I, you, I'm you, to and you need to be a good mother right now and take responsibility for your actions. 
Okay? Not to say, I told Julie to blame me. I, I didn't do this. I didn't do this. Just be honest like Julie was. Okay? Set a good example. Well, you're not. Okay? I know you want to be. Okay? And you might want to believe the things you're saying. Okay? But everything Julie told us was verified. Okay? I mean, to such detail that it was just, you know, I mean, it was very clear that she was being very honest. Because you're telling us a completely different story Kim, than what Julie told. Kim, you're not being honest. I try the best I can. I know you try to be the best you can, to, to do the best you can. Yes. But you just have to be honest. Julie was honest about everything. I'm, I'm honest. No. I told her to be everything. You told her to be honest, and she was honest. And you're not being honest. And she's not putting everything else on on her. She's putting. She's telling the truth. Because I told her to put on me. Well, well she did not. it. She didn't. She's telling the truth because it involved both of you. Yes. What you said before about how you think about bad things with your with your mom, everybody does. Yeah. That's what happened. You thought bad things about about with your mom. But I don't want it to be happen. I, I know. I know. And and I you know, sometimes we have bad thoughts, and even though we don't want them to happen, they just do. And you okay. told Julie about those bad thoughts. Yeah, but we not to expect it to happen. I, okay. But you talked about it. But you bit, talked right? about it. We, I mean, you know, how you get angry, you just right. talk, talk, yeah, and absolutely. blah, blah, and forget about it, and, you know, go on. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. But I don't expect it to happen. You didn't expect it to, but it... It kind of did. And like I said. No, Kim, you know what? Don't blame on me. No, Kim, we, we don't want to blame. We don't want to blame anybody. You know, when we find out the truth and people take responsibility, then yeah, we can help I'm them. taking responsibility. Okay? Well, what are you taking responsibility for? For everything. Well, you need to tell us what the everything is. Well, like I say, how I found my mom. Okay. Yeah, like that. Okay, well, there's more to how you found your mom. Okay, and that's what we need to talk about. And whether or not it was just, it was a bad thought, and, and you kind of got carried away with it, you know, I mean, those things happen. Like, you have a bad thought, and that bad thought kind of happens in reality. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, kind of. Yeah. Right? You think about something, you talk about something, and, and then you, it just kind of, like, when, when I say snowballs, means kind of just things happen, and next thing you know, it happened, and you didn't expect it to happen. Oh, okay. Okay, right. something like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. like you talk about it, and then you talk about it a little bit more, and then next thing you know, the other person you talked about it with, now they're talking to you about it. And then next thing you know, some other things were done. And then next thing you know, you can't believe where you're at and what happened and actually what you were talking about. And it just it happened. And then you wish so bad it never, never happened. happened. Right. You just wish you could rewind and rewind right. and rewind. Right. 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 Okay, that happened. Is that what happened? Okay. Right. And that's what we're talking about. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Now, as Kim is finally being broken down and pressured into telling the truth, let me tell you what happened and then she can give her honest version of events. Kim and Julie went into the bedroom on July the 23rd, 2008, and Julie inserted a knife into her grandmother three times, once in the throat so deep that it severed her spinal cord. Whilst Julie did this, Kim held a pillowcase over her head. Why, you may ask? Well, there was a history of animosity between the mother, daughter, and grandmother that included disputes over money, car and respect but let me play it for you now and kim will explain all that it was a bad idea well let, let's start with the bad idea what, what what was the bad idea to start with were you mad at your mom i didn't for a long long yes. long 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 time because she she was because she slapped you when you bought kit you know she's like telling you all the time that you're buying the wrong clothes for your kids she's slapping you in front of your daughter i mean that's humiliating your money i mean there's a lot i mean your mom, I mean, from what, I mean, and, you know, with all respect, yeah. was not always very nice to you. Okay. Is that right? Right. Okay. And then when that goes on for a long time, 30, how old are you, 35? 39. 39 years. I mean, that, that, you know, that can really cause a lot of resentment. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it can make you think bad thoughts, right? Yeah. And did you have some bad thoughts about your mom? 
Not until like in the year two thousand four, five. Okay. What happened then? She's, you know, she's just still, being herself, right? Yeah, being a mean kind of, yeah, kind of mom, yeah. And it was embarrassing in front of your other yeah, family. Yeah, my children. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you know. Did you think maybe you wanted something bad to happen to her? Yeah, I'm like, I wish you die. I wish you die. Right. That was it. I, you know, I don't, I don't mean what I said. Right. Right. You know, and I don't want nothing to happen to her. Right. Oh, you, know, you know how the children get upset? They just yeah. talk. Right, right, right. And that's it. Right. You know. But you thought it more recently than that. Continue from yeah. all these years, yeah. Yeah. So that's it. So I told him, bring on me. That's it. Did you tell Julie your bad thoughts? Yeah, we talked. Yeah, I told her about it. What did you tell her? I told her, I said, I wish your grandmother died, you know, gone away from this uh, Stay away from mom, right? And let you live your own life yeah. with your family, right? Yeah, just you know, just you and your brother, you know, like that. That's all I said. I don't really mean what I said, you know. Right. Now you just get upset right. and just you know mm -hmm. talk. Sure. You know, like you work with some other people, you know, at work and say, "I wish you were dead," you know, like that. But right. don't really mean it, you right. know. Don't want to happen. Right. But it did happen. It did happen. Truth, and right. you have the opportunity to help Julie and yourself right now right. by being, you know, by just talking to us the same way as Julie talked to the other investigators. Okay, just about kind of, you know, what happened that night with your mom, mm -hmm. you know, not with the credit card, not with the guy running out of the house, but, you know, just real specifically, you know, was it anger? You know, was it resentment? Was there a fight? Like, you know, what was it just something that kind of was a fantasy that went bad? I mean, what, what happened? Um, you know, like you said, or like I said, you said, I had this thought for a long time, mm -hmm. and then it started up again, you know, and, uh, we, we supposed to do it that Monday, but, uh, no, when you say do that, do you mean, like, what kill your, you? do you mean yeah. kill your mom? Is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that Monday, mm -hmm. and I, I go, no, let's not. So, I, I told my daughter, and we went out to go walk, and we saw this person walking up and down the street, and then we walked out to the house, and we went to the bed to sleep mm -hmm. the next day. That next day, that, you know, like I said, my brother came over, you know, eat dinner and stuff. You know, whatever time, you know, like I said, not a little bit of time, that's fine, whatever. So, that night, that night we did it. And then, you know, like I said, the car already packed. Right. Because yeah. right. you knew you might leave after yeah. it happened. Yeah. Okay. And when, when you said you did it, you and Julie had discussed yes. it before, is that yes. right? Yes, yeah. What had you talked about? Um, did you talk about how you would do it? Yeah. Okay, and what did you talk about? Like, okay, uh, okay, you know, you hold something over grandma's face and mommy will take something and, you know. How do you say that? Yeah. Yeah. Stab? Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. Into her heart. Mm -hmm. That was it. Take a knife. I or, don't know. Or something. Something. Okay. And something. that's what we talked about. Yeah. Okay. So. But that would be, you'd have to be pretty strong to put something over someone's mouth, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, we haven't started yet. We right, were, right. We were outside. But I'm just thinking, like, that takes yeah. some strength right. to do that. Yeah. We were outside her, you know, her doorway. We were, like, arguing back and forth. Mm -hmm. Who's going to do this? Who's going to do that? You know, stuff like that. No. Downstairs, you know, I told her to go downstairs. She goes, No, no, she's coming back. And I'm like, Okay, whatever. So we did it, and then we walked out of the, you know, 
So, so somebody stabbed her, and then somebody yeah. who who covered her mouth? You covered her mouth, yeah. okay. and then Julie stabbed her. Yeah. And do you remember what Julie used to stab her? I don't really know. I think what is it? A pocket knife or no? Just like a pocket knife or something. Was it a maybe, knife that was in the kitchen? Maybe bigger, like a kitchen knife. And and you guys talked about which knife to no, use. No, no, we, no. We just grab a knife or a pocket knife. Grab a knife or pocket knife. I don't know. It's in the kitchen. It's in the drawer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it was a knife from the drawer. Yeah. Well, what did it look like? That I don't know because it's dark and we didn't turn on the light. Okay. Okay. But the light in the hallway was on. You know, like I said, it was on. And then. Like I said, I tried to call my brother, you know, couldn't find my phone you know, because my hands were. I mean, even though the lights on in the bathroom, I still couldn't see. Uh, still the light on in the bedroom? No, no light in the bedroom. Just the bathroom light. And then I think, I think later on, I turned on the light on the bedroom, and the bathroom light still on. I think I turned on. So, Not sure. So, just to clarify, you were the one that covered your mom's mouth, is that right? I think I held something, yeah. I think. Do you remember what you held? That, I don't know. Was it like, like, a book? Was it fabric? Was it a piece of clothing? It's fabric. Fabric? Um, I know it's colorful. I don't know what color, but it's colorful. Did it have a design on it, or? I don't know, but I know it's colorful. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. And then the knife was in the kitchen drawer as well? We were looking through the kitchen drawer, yeah. Okay. yeah. Right. Did you guys talk about which one to use? No, or? we just... Who, who grabbed the knife? My baby. Jordan. Okay. Just walk away. But Kim, there was really no person that walked out of your house. There's a person walking. Walking by your house. But there was no person inside your house. Yeah, we get that. We got that already. Right, there's nobody inside. There was just a person walking along the yeah, sidewalk. Yeah, to the person. Okay, yeah, on the, the first sidewalk. Time. Yeah, the okay. first time I saw him. Okay. Right. And then the second time okay. I saw him. Right, okay. Yeah. But that person was never inside your house. Yeah. That was that was not the truth. That was... Okay, that's okay. fine. But you know, I saw him walking. Okay, that's fine. Jo I mean, I know you are, but Julie's so skinny, you know? <laughs> Like she's just she's little, you know. It's surprising she's she could strong. do that. Yeah. It's strong. She looks small, but she is strong. Yeah. Did everybody say like that to her. And she laughs. <laughs> well, let me ask you this: Do you feel bad about what happened? I cried. My daughter cried. We both cried. Well, why did you cry? Well, half of the crying was that you know. Relief. Relief? Yeah. And relief. For why, why relief? That she's, she's not here. Right. And half of her cry is that, you know, I can't believe I did this. Right. And so, I, don't know, I, I don't know why she cried, but I know why well, she no, cried. And you can speak for yourself, <laughs> and you're being honest, I appreciate that. You know, I know why I cried, I don't know why she cried. But I know one thing, she cried because she lost her grandma like a mom. That's the only one thing I know why she cried, that's it. But the rest of the cry, I don't know. Okay. But did, I know that. did you guys talk about this on the way, you know, on your drive? We couldn't talk because we, we were still crying. So you think Julie feels bad about it because she loved her grandma? She's like a mom to her. Right. So, so why do you think Julie would have done it? I don't know. Maybe she has the same resentment. I don't know. That I don't know. And I'm not sure. Or, I mean, you can't get into somebody else's head, but I didn't know maybe you had spoken about it. No, we don't really talk much. It's, you know, she's 18, though, which is yeah. an adult, so it's, you know, it's, it's a hard situation because she's a girl that never, really, she never even got a speeding ticket. I mean, no, she probably drove 
when she wasn't supposed to, but that's certainly not the most serious offense anyone anyone's committed. We can have practice with that. <laughs> right. I mean, she's trying to get in school and get her license, and then she kills her grandmother. I mean, that's kind of jumping from one thing to another. Mm -hmm. That's pretty serious. Mm -hmm. Just like I said, we have to take the paper. When you're saying it to you, it was you. It was your idea. You. Were... I do all this. Is my idea. So you think it was your fault because she did it? Even though she did it, you think it was your fault? No. I do this. I everything. But you just said that she stabbed her. Yeah, she stabbed her. But I want to take a blame for me. I do it. Well. Sometimes, by being honest and by taking responsibility, I mean, you are taking responsibility and you're not blaming her because, like I said, she already told, you know, the police what happened. So, yeah, if she, I, she I just like I said, you're, you did your job as a mom because you raised her to be honest and remorseful. Yeah, I, I want, you know, but you can't. She's stabbing, yeah, but I want to take I know you do. I want to take that. Let me still be okay. Well, like, like we said, it's not our decision. I'm, I'm so not. what we what we do is, you know, we can say that you know when we you know. I can plead obscenity and plead the fifth. Well, how do you think you could plead insanity? I don't know. I'm just I'm just talking. I guess just I, thinking I, about stuff, right? I I guess I, I see too much law and order. <laughs> right. I have no idea. Right. Too much law and order and undercover cops. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Too much CSI, whatever. Did you think that nobody would find out? No, I know they would find out. So when the police came to you in Las Vegas, you kind of knew what it was about? Yes. Yes. But all they say is that we're here because somebody from the stop call was there. Mm -hmm. And that's that's all that. That's it. Right. That's the only charge right now. Right? Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. We'll take you to the magistrate later, and you'll be served with a warrant for is it unauthorized use of a motor vehicle. Yeah. Okay. So. And then you know, like we said, we'll uh, you know we just explain everything to the people who make decisions about the other issues, and it's out of our hands. Right. I mean, we don't. We, you know, I don't like what you did. I think what you did is really awful. I mean, I'll just be honest with you, okay? I mean, I, I like you as a person, I but I think what you did is, is bad, okay? And I think you think it's bad. I mean, you know it's bad, right? Okay? And you probably wish that it didn't happen, even though you're really, your mom's not yelling at you now, right? But you know there's consequences, right? I wish I wanted to take her back so she can relax me at me. <laughs> I'm kind of loving not to hear her voice. Yeah. Well, do you, do you, I, this all started because you had questions for us. Remember back in the right. car? Do you have any other questions for us? That's all the questions I want to know. Okay. Uh, no, please. No, if you could, no, let me stay in here. And I want to plead the fifth of insanity. If you could help. We don't have anything to do with that. That's yeah. an old judge thing, right? Yeah, so I'm just, you know, telling right. you what I'm doing. Right. You know, I'm not saying right. 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 I'm not gonna say I'm innocent or guilty. I'm gonna say I'm free the fifth and innocent. You said that you wanted to know if you could maybe talk to Sean or Hip or anything My like sister. that. Your sister. I don't know, mm -hmm. but that's why I had said before. Do you want to write them something? Okay. You do. Yeah. Okay. And you know, maybe just explain to them. I want you to explain to us, and you know, and you know, maybe I can give him a letter. I don't know. So, as you can see on the screen, this is the letter that Kim wrote addressed to her family. I know it's not the clearest. Let me read it out to you. She mentions the people who this is for. She says, "I hope you will receive this note. I want to tell you that I am very sorry whatever happened to Mom," referring to her grandmother. Please forgive Julie, it's not her fault. If you love mom or still see mom as mom, I need a favor from you guys. That favor is either or Sean, take care of Julie for me while I'm in jail. Please, thank you for your time and patience. Thank you, my son, 
mommy misses you love you very much please take care of your sister for me some of it but not you're not a very good liar hips right you see gonna tell we've been with you all day see? and we can tell but you know you probably wish that it happened the way you told us right yeah you you wish that the guy ran into your house and did it but he didn't no but uh, we did solve the i know i know but that's not who you hurt your, you hurt your mom mm -hmm. But I, I appreciate you being honest. I mean, the thing is, it's like Mike said, we, we find out anyway. So it's like, well, and not only that, but like, the, you know, with all the evidence and the crime scene and, you know, with Jolie talking to the other investigators, I mean, she, you know, it's, we find out. And, you know, because you're honest, we can go to the people that make decisions about the cases and say, you know, this is a woman who's honest. This is a, a woman who, you know, doesn't want her 18 year old daughter to, you know, bear the whole burden for what, you know, what happened. So, sure. You can't take it, that's the thing. So you may as well just drink it, right? May as well enjoy it. Why it last? Exactly. During the trial, Kim was found guilty and she was sentenced to 35 years in prison in June 2010. Regarding her daughter, Julie, Julie pled guilty and was sentenced to life. But all of this sentence was suspended except 30 years. She has to serve a minimum of 85% of the 30 years before being eligible for parole. She was sentenced in October 2012. Thank you for watching.